It's day four of our trip, and it's our first full day in the area of Maggie Valley in Cherokee, North Carolina. We step across the street from the hotel and fill our bellies with comfort food at Pop's Place. There's only one cook at Pop's Place, and that's Pop himself. Open six days a week. He's closed on Wednesdays to give himself a day off. After breakfast, we're one of the first to arrive at the festival grounds. All the vendors' booths are manned, but a few customers have yet to brave the chilled morning air. We again run into Cadillac Mike, who's given a explanation to the modifications to his spider's trailer. Cadillac Mike actually has the Cadillac logo on the side of his spider. It's kind of cool. One of the vendors was offering front-end alignments and a free complimentary check. We decided to take advantage of this and learned that the spider's alignment was perfect. Other vendors were offering front end modifications and repairs. And we got a chance to see some very colorful spider wraps. After we finished up at the fairgrounds, we decided we were gonna jump up on the Blue Ridge Parkway for a little bit of scenic drive. The Blue Ridge Parkway actually starts in Cherokee, North Carolina, and more than half of the parkway itself is located in North Carolina. Cherokee, North Carolina. John was telling me he remembered this intersection from his childhood. There used to be some kind of railroad uh, theme park on this corner. This looks like it might be Main Street. Probably a good place for coffee in there. You what? The casino looks so different in the daytime. We were here last night and it was all lit up and it looked like a UFO had landed in the middle of the mountains, just kind of out of place to me. Or maybe more aptly described as part of Las Vegas, lifted up and just plopped into the mountainside. I guess I'm old fashioned, but I just don't think it belongs here. It's quite a large complex. They say that it has a, a nice buffet and there are even bowling alleys and all kinds of things to do in there. 
We stopped at a little roadside stand between Maggie Valley and Cherokee because Miriam wanted some apples. This place was loaded with locally produced goodies. Now if we only had something to drink. So after we stopped and got apples, we uh, stopped at a motorcycle apparel shop and Miriam got biker boots. Aren't they nice? I have ruined her. I have absolutely <laughs> ruined her. And now we're uh, going to go visit a distillery. Maybe do a sampling. Motorcycles, mountain roads, and liquor. What could possibly go wrong? There was a time in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains where making corn liquor was frowned upon. It was kept in the shadows because it was mostly illegal. And the people who made it became colorful, legendary characters. And now you can buy it in storefronts along Main Street. Well, tell us about your product line again, because you already told us once, and now you get to. We're, we're Elevated Mountain Distilling Company. We're based in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Uh huh. We got five products we make here: Purchase Knob Unaged Whiskey and Purchase Knob Oak Reserved Whiskey. Uh, people think of this one as a moonshine. It's, it's all spirits come up still clear. Mm hmm. When you put whiskey in a barrel. Barrels what turns it brown, the burnt layer wood in it. Right. Totally changes the flavor of it, so we sell it both ways. It's 88 proof because I'm a Del Earnhardt Jr. fan. Hey, Kevin, we're taking your advice and having dinner at Butts on the Creek, and we'll report back and wishing you guys were with us. I take it from the wood smoke that they make their own cue here and uh, best in town. Best in town. Well, we'll just have to see. As advertised, the barbecue was an outstanding representation of Western North Carolina pulled pork barbecue. Thanks, Kevin. Well, it's... Saturday. Saturday. It's the last day of the uh, Spider Rally for it's, us. And it's been a beautiful day. Oh, it's gorgeous. Started out a little cold this morning. Yeah. Um, we got up, and uh, what all did we do? Besides, we had breakfast across the street at Pops. <laughs> Which was a great start to the day. Yeah. We uh, visited the fairgrounds for a bit. You checked out your alignment and got a good report. Yeah, they were doing free alignments, and uh, it was only $100 if they needed to do a front end alignment. And if you needed some uh, front end work done, they brought the tools and the parts here. So I uh, didn't need any of that. So I, I was happy about that. And I had to check my tires. Yeah, took, got a good report. Took a nice ride on the parkway uh, for coffee in Cherokee. Yes. Uh, you know, the bulk of the Blue Ridge Parkway is in North Carolina, even though I spend most of my time on the Virginia portion. Yeah. I got boots. She has motorcycle them. boots. <laughs> now we just need to get her a motorcycle tattoo. <laughs> Got you some whiskey. We got some whiskey <laughs> at a distillery here uh, locally. Elevated Mountain Distillery. Yes. Which we recommend. Yes. And uh, came back here. And since we're old people, we had to take a nap and just <laughs> rest. It's been a heck of a last couple of days. So. Uh, but it's, it it's been a thrill to be in the middle oh. of all these spiders and spider riders. I just, <laughs> I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I, I, a day and a half did not do it justice. Uh, you know, next year. Uh, we're going to have to make it a, a much longer trip, a more, and, and more, just more time here. <laughs> Alrighty. See you next time. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below.